I'm going to give you some time to look at this quote. Okay, so th this is a neat quote uh, for a number of reasons. Engelbart is really criticizing Kay in this idea of being against uh, user friendliness. Uh, and Kay is, is admitting that Engelbart is partially right. We remember Engelbart uh, very often as the person who invented the computer mouse, and, and that was what a lot of the obituaries ran. We forget what came before the computer mouse. It wasn't nothing. It was the light pen. And the light pen was this incredibly intuitive device, right? And people could look at a light pen, and in five seconds, they could understand how it worked. And in 10 seconds, they could be using it. The mouse was, was not an intuitive device at all. But what Engelbart found is you put two people together, you have them execute on the same task, and initially, the person with the mouse will be slower, right? But very quickly, they start to outpace the person with the light pen. Very quickly, they start to achieve a fluidity, a speed, an expertise that the person with the light pen never achieves. And, and so that's, that's the lesson that I think Engelbart uh, believed people hadn't heard, right? That we don't need to infantilize our users. That, as a matter of fact, if we can figure out what would work for our users the best, after several weeks of using a tool, instead, uh, what we've ended up doing uh, is we live in a world of light pens. You, you can't inter you couldn't introduce the mouse today to people. Marketing wouldn't let you. And that's the reason why it's 2014 and you're still copying and pasting text to move it places, trying to clean up formatting that's carried from one place to another. That's the reason why people are bragging that you know infants can use iPads as if this was some uh, point of pride rather than something horrifying. This is why we live in, in this world where most things are very easy to learn, but they're hard to use. And I guess by hard to use, I don't mean that we feel that they're difficult, but that we never actually reach our capacity to really meld with these systems uh, because we've chosen you know, these, these easier paths. Federated Wiki, it's hard to learn, and it's easy to use. And I know that sounds to some people like a con, but in, so, in, in many ways, it's, it's, it's a warning uh, to people that are taking this course. You are going to have to radically reconfigure your assumptions and intuitions about what the web is and how the web works. That's going to be that's going to be difficult. The reward for that is if you get past it, you get to be the guy with the mouse or the, or the woman with the mouse in a world of people who still are clinging to their light pens. So with that pep talk, I, I want to start off by talking about the one thing that I have to introduce people to uh, before they use the system. Uh, and I've got, I've got a note down here to, to just a visual aid. Um, here we go. Um, this is something that, if you don't understand this and you don't understand the implications of this, that Federated Wiki is not a website, your life will be pain. <laughs> For the entire 14 days, your life will be pain. And I want to walk you through what this means that Federated Wiki is not a website, some of the implications of it, and uh, hopefully we can cut down on some of the some of the initial um, initial confusion that a lot of people get when they go into Federated Wiki. Uh, 